Hello. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I think this, I guess it's the middle of the month now. So this must make this the six week update, month and a half update. Um, I'm very excited to do this one because I got my new sink installed just yesterday, which is amazing because if you've been watching, you know that that was the biggest struggle, but I'll talk about that more later. So I just cleaned up for you guys, um, just changed the bedding, put on some relaxing music just for the background, put on my uh, diffuser there. A lot of the things look the same from the last video if you watched it. There's a couple of little differences and I'm going to point them out. And I'm also just going to talk about some things that people were curious about. So if you remember this, this is my tiny living room. Um, the plants are doing much better. I had a couple issues with this orchid, but I think I finally figured it out. I've bought some more plants since maybe you saw last and I'm trying to build a bigger collection because of everything going on. It just keeps me happy and it's just nice to be able to take care of something. Um, this is the bench that I got on Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks just before all of this happened. Underneath, I keep some shoes, as you can see, the ones that I wear most often, excuse me. Um, this storage here is for my clothes and for my linens. That's the same for over here. This is actually my laundry hamper basket, whatever you want to call it. And then I also have my router there. And then on this side here, this is a bit of a change. I did move some things around just for functionality. It just made even more sense. So here are some more winter scarves and hats and things. Here are some more of my clothes. Um, these are the shelves that used to belong here and they're now up there because I ordered a sort of kitchen rollout island thing that's going to fit perfectly in there so that I have more counter space. So the mirror, hi guys, the mirror used to be where the shelf that I just showed you was, but now, right now it's safely sort of resting on the mini fridge. People were asking about the mini fridge. I guess I didn't point it out. So when I first moved in, they had a full sized fridge and it just didn't make sense. It was honestly such an eyesore. And because I don't have a kitchen, it didn't make sense for me to have a full size fridge. So I downgraded to a mini fridge, which I think it just makes more sense for the space. And really it's all I need. I go grocery shopping once a week, which is uh, what's recommended right now. And I do totally, totally fine. Um, I do have to go grocery shopping since it's Friday now. I will have to go tomorrow morning. I'm gonna try and get up early when Loblaws opens and go. Um, so yeah, I have the mini fridge here. I keep my stepladder here to reach all my clothes that are up there. Um, and this is the mirror. I will try and get it mounted on the wall once I have the proper stuff to do that, just so that I know that it's not gonna go anywhere. It is super heavy. It was like nearly impossible to lift it on top of that fridge. So kind of proud of myself. Um, this I realized which made me really happy is that the laptop, it's 13 inches, it's a MacBook Pro 13 inches, and it fits perfectly. Watch this. Oh my God, okay, this is not a good example. It usually fits, why is it being so difficult? Anyways, it was weird that it slid, slid in there, so it was so hard to slide it in, but. That's weird, maybe it's expanding because it's hot in here. I don't know, I know that's not a thing for um, this, but anyways, it usually fits really perfectly. It's 13 inches and I just that just made me happy because I like when things randomly fit perfectly, kind of how the shelf fits on this wall very nicely. Um, but yeah, I have the lamp there, it's just my bedding. I do want to get like a headrest slash like backboard in an L shape. So instead of, it's a queen bed. So I had to get rid of the headboard because the window is right here and it just, it would just be not good for the space. So I want to get some paneling on the wall and as well on that wall. And then I think it would make the bed look more like a day bed when I'm, you know, wanting to use it as like a couch day bed sort of thing. I think if I do like that backrest, it'll make it, seem more like that. Um, so I'm doing that thing again where I talk a lot and then I'm like out of breath. <sighs> 
So something that I did for privacy was, I, if you can tell, these two windows. On this window here, I added some non-adhesive, um, just like a film to put on top of the window. So the thing with that is, if you can see that chair right there, I'll zoom in for you guys. See that chair? It's not a floating chair, it's sitting on not a patio, but a fire escape, but it sort of serves the same function. Like people can stand out there. Not that they do, but I have had people stand out there when they're putting stuff out there for whatever reason. And I don't love that they're basically looking into my bedroom. So I got a little um, privacy film for that window. And then this window's okay. I'm actually very excited for this tree to grow in because I think it'll be beautiful right now. You know, the backyard isn't that nice and I wish they maintained the space a bit better. But I think once this tree grows in and it has its leaves and maybe even some flowers, I think it's going to be such a nice relaxing view from my bedroom. So I'm excited for that. Uh, let's see, let's go to the kitchen. So I don't know if anything's really changed here. I have still have not used this thing. Um, but I did watch some YouTube videos and I will use it in the future. Um, the microwave gets used a lot, the kettle gets used a lot, and the induction stovetop has been getting used a lot. So I maybe have a couple more things here that you didn't see before. But yes, I have been making like a lot of pasta dishes and, you know, very simple things. I'm not going to get like lie to you guys and say that I have these amazing luxurious dinners every night. It's very basic, very simple, but it's okay for me. It's working for right now. You know, this is all temporary, even though I do love the space. I've been here for a month and a half and... I think a year is a good time frame. I think tops two years to be in a space like this. I think it's just, you know, I think I will eventually outgrow it, but for now it's been really, really nice. So the other thing that I think I mentioned to you guys were these are not real um, drawers, which really bothered me because there's already such a lack of space. So I ordered another sort of, everything that I order is basically on like, rollers or serves like two functions so i ordered something else where i could put some more kitchen supplies in this like rolling rack and i'm also thinking of putting up more uh shelving or i saw some diy stuff on pinterest that i was really interested in like a mug hanger and i'm just gonna probably do that i think we've accomplished a lot in a month and a half if you know from before if you even watch my first video I think it looks way 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 better and I'm really proud of it and I'm only thinking of more things that I can do like last a couple nights ago I was just thinking about how amazing it would be if I had a projector from the a projector like the screen from the ceiling and then if I had a projector right there and then I could watch movies and have little movie nights and I read that it only has to be six feet apart which I have six feet in here believe it or not so that could actually work really nice um let's now go to the bathroom and I left a pan in the new sink so that you could see just how well it fits and I'm actually going to wash it for you guys. I know very exciting but anyways this is a washroom just what you're used to. However this new beautiful sink it's very deep. That's me putting my hand in there touching the bottom. Very deep very wide. This is also a hose. It also moves, so I'm very, very excited about that. There's also storage underneath. There's not too much in there right now. But yeah, so I'm just going to literally wash this pan for you. And I'm sorry if you think this is the most boring content ever, but I have never been more excited to do my dishes in my in my life. Also, right now you're resting on top of toilet paper, so multi-purpose. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wash this dish and you're gonna see how easy it is compared to when I was washing dishes before in a bathroom sink and it was my worst nightmare. So I'm gonna do that. Basically, the pan here, and move this thing around, rinse it. I think you can see how much space there is because like you can hardly see the pan when it's all the way in. This would not have been possible before, so I'm very grateful to my dad. So yeah. 
that's the other thing. Um, I need to figure out, I either, either need to get like some kind of like drying rack in here and mount it to the wall because like what do I do with this thing now? I basically have to walk it back into the kitchen, which isn't a big deal, but obviously I want to make my living as convenient as possible. So I'm working on a solution for that right now. So yes, that is me washing a dish. How exciting. Um, and basically, just do that. I don't know if I should like keep this here or where I should keep it, but for now, I've only had this thing for like a day, two days, so I'm still getting used to it and the best place to put things. Please ignore this. This was a mistake that I made when I had too much wine. I didn't do, I wasn't out of violence. Basically this thing was crooked and I was trying to straighten it and I twisted the screwdriver the wrong way and it was cracking and I just kept going and then it basically just split because I didn't get the message the first time. So that's why that is like that. I will get it fixed. But anyways, that is my new sink. So fabulous. My dad made it custom for me. So these are actually tiles. And the reason why he made it custom was we were not able to find the right dimensions and the ones that we did, they were like three, $400. And if you remember, this is a rental. So that just made no sense for us to invest in that. I think this vanity was like $89 and then he did all of this himself with materials that he had. And then he did buy this new, he was gonna use a used one that he already had, but he just liked this one better because it just, you know, it made more sense um, for, you know, function and yeah I love it very happy Made, makes my life way easier and I don't have to pile up dishes anymore because I'm dreading to do them so yeah guys this is my month and a half or six week update on the space I hope everyone is doing well and that any space that they're living in, they can make cozy and make work for them because I've definitely made it work for me. I'm happy. Uh, I'm not, you know, losing my mind quite yet. I think that also, I am lucky I am still working. So I think if I was in here, you know, 24 seven, it would be a bit of a different story, but because I'm working still Monday through Friday, um, it's really nice to come home and have my own space. I used to live with two roommates in a very large, you know, three bedroom apartment with a huge um, balcony and obviously I miss the outdoor space and being able to, you know, walk around. Um, even just having the long weekend recently, having four days off was a lot for me because I didn't leave for four days. So yeah, but you know what, like you just sort of you make do and I really can't complain so I hope you guys liked this update I hope you guys like the new sink um, and if you haven't already please like and subscribe so that you can keep with all the new updates that are coming and yeah talk to you guys soon okay bye bye